all bus common myths about reverse osmosis drinking water systems and explain what actually happens when you use an RO in your home for your family. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. Here's the straight talk about reverse osmosis myths and how reverse osmosis systems will give you super pure drinking water for your family. Now be sure you check out all the myths because many of them will surprise you, especially that last one. Number one, reverse osmosis water is unhealthy to drink. Now some people think reverse osmosis or RO removes all of the good minerals from your water, but actually 90% of the minerals we need in our diet comes from the foods we eat, not our water. Take calcium for example, an 8 ounce glass of orange juice will give you 30% of your recommended daily amount, whereas you would need to drink a bathtub full of water to get the similar amount. So the best way to reach your mineral intake goals is to eat a balanced diet and drink clean, pure reverse osmosis water. Water hydrates our bodies and is essential for proper organ function, but the minerals vitamins and organic compounds we need to lead healthy lives comes from the foods we eat, not the water we drink. Number two, tap water is just as good as reverse osmosis water. Well, afraid not. Water treatment plants, just like everything, have only so much money for water filtration. For every contaminant present in water, there is an ideal level of contamination, and then there's a realistic level that mass treatment can yield. Lead, for example, is dangerous to consume at any level of concentration. However, to completely eliminate lead, city water treatment plants would need to spend far more money than they have. So the EPA must set realistic standards that are a compromise. Since lead cannot be completely eradicated during municipal treatment, the EPA standard for lead is drinking water is 15 parts per billion. While this may seem like an inconsequential amount of lead, it can lead to long-term health effects, especially in pregnant women and young children. Municipal water filtration systems do nothing to remove salt, forever chemicals like PFAS, fluoride, arsenic, VOCs, total dissolved solids, and those water filtration processes actually add chlorine and chloramines to your drinking water. And if you want to learn more about what municipal water filtration systems aren't removing from your water like PFAS, check out this video. I'll put a link in the description down below. Installing a reverse osmosis drinking water system will not only make your water taste better, but also reduce the levels of all those contaminants. That can compromise long-term health of your family. And something else municipalities are actually adding to your water is fluoride. Now, if you want to learn about whether that's healthy or not healthy for your family, definitely check out this video. I'll put a link in the description down below. Number three, bottled water is better than reverse osmosis water, right? Not only is the quality of reverse osmosis water just as good, if not better than bottled water, it's much more environmentally friendly too. In fact, many brands of bottled water use reverse osmosis as their filtration process. The differing tastes of bottled water brands rely on either their spring water that they use or the minerals, often salt, added back to the water after the reverse osmosis filtration process has taken place. Since reverse osmosis uses the same filtration processes as many of the bottled water brands, a home reverse osmosis system like our Hume Water Saver 75 can produce RO water that tastes just as good as bottled water. From an environmental perspective, home reverse osmosis systems do not produce nearly the amount of plastic waste that water bottles do. Around 60 million water bottles are wasted in the US every day, leaving behind a massive carbon footprint. Of those 60 million, about 12% are actually recycled. Even the plastic that is recycled cannot be reused in applications such as food packaging. Reverse osmosis drinking water systems help massively reduce plastic usage in cities every year. And since they cost little to maintain, are much more cost effective than bottled water. And let's not forget about that carbon footprint of shipping those premium waters from the French Alps or wherever or other exotic locations all the way to North America. Number four, reverse osmosis filters are expensive. While quality reverse osmosis drinking water systems are not inexpensive, they're much cheaper and more eco-friendly than relying on bottled water. Under sink RO systems like one of these, which are recommended over whole house, reverse osmosis systems range in cost from $350 to $1,000. In contrast, a single person can expect to spend about $1,000 on bottled water annually. While re replacement filters must be purchased annually for these reverse osmosis systems, their total cost for a non-proprietary system like one of these is about $60 to $80. Number five, the reverse osmosis purification process is wasteful. 
while reverse osmosis drinking water systems must flush the impurities to the drain during the filtration process, their efficiency has improved drastically in the past couple of decades. The term wasteful is misleading because reverse osmosis systems utilize the wasted water for flushing the membrane rather than just dispensing it to the drain. When you take a shower, wash your clothes, or your dishes, you do not consider the water you use to do those processes wasteful, do you? Well, rather, you use it to benefit the health and well-being of your family. The same can be said for reverse osmosis systems. So to correctly filter water for consumption, some water must be used to carry the contaminants away from the system. A high efficiency reverse osmosis drinking water system like our Hume Water Saver 75 flushes about one and a half gallons of water to the drain for every gallon of filtered water that your family drinks. And if you'd like to learn more about how the different kinds of reverse osmosis systems waste water or don't waste water, check out this video. I'll put a link in the description down below. Number six, my refrigerator's got a filter in it, so it's just as good as a reverse osmosis system. While fridge filters are a great start for enhancing the taste of city water because they remove the chlorine from the water, reverse osmosis features four to five stages, a sediment filter, one to two carbon pre-filters, a reverse osmosis membrane, and an activated carbon post filter. Not only will reverse osmosis systems reduce chlorine and chloramine levels, but they also reduce total dissolved solids, salts, sediment, arsenic, volatile organic compounds, fluoride, chloramines, and many other forever chemicals like PFAS. Refrigerator filters will enhance the taste, but they won't remove any of those contaminants. Number seven, I use a water softener, so I don't need a reverse osmosis drinking water system, right? Hard water is not unhealthy to consume, but it can wreak havoc on its way to your faucet. An RO filter, on the other hand, is designed to make water safe and healthier for your family. Although RO does remove hardness minerals, it also removes contaminants such as lead, arsenic, that can cause bodily harm over time. As a result, water softener cannot be used as a replacement for a reverse osmosis system. However, if you live in a region with hard water, a water softener is recommended to maintain the health of you, your RO system, your appliances, plumbing, skin, hair, and a whole lot more. RO water is too acidic. RO water has a pH of about 6.0. Your stomach pH is 1.5 to 3.5. At the stage where water enters your stomach, the pH of the water doesn't matter at all because the stomach is so much more acidic. What does matter are the contaminants that you are ingesting, like fluoride, potentially lead, PFAS, lead, and the rest have been significantly reduced. Now, if you want to increase the pH of your RO water, you can always add a calcite filter to add some calcium back into the water to neutralize that pH. Number nine, alkaline water is better. Alkaline water is water with a pH higher than 7.0. pH is how we measure the acidity of water. But according to the Mayo Clinic, and I quote, Research suggests that alkaline water is unlikely to significantly change blood pH. Some studies suggest that alkaline water might help slow bone loss, but it's not clear if the benefit is maintained over the long term. Some say that alkaline water can help prevent disease such as cancer and heart disease. However, there's little credible evidence to support such claims. Number 10, you don't need RO water. Tap water safe to drink. So families in Flint, Michigan, Walkerton, Ontario and Canada and Parkersburg, West Virginia and numerous other cities across North America would disagree. Reverse osmosis removes lead and countless other contaminants from drinking water and provides a second barrier from bacteria. Number 11, RO water will leach minerals out of the body. There's absolutely no research to support this. Reverse osmosis water pulling minerals out of the body is totally unsubstantiated. Since rainwater and surface water is also low in mineral content, do you think that mankind's anticipated water source would have had these characteristics? Also keep in mind that in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, the municipal drinking water source has a TDS or total dissolved solids mineral content of approximately 8 to 20 parts per million, which is the same or lower than most point of use reverse osmosis systems would give you in your home. We would certainly know if there were health effects with low TDS on the 600,000 people in that city. Reverse osmosis water is not only safe to drink, it's extremely healthy for your family. And by the way, if you're looking to get some more information about reverse osmosis drinking water systems, you can go to our website, either waterestore.com in the US or waterestore.ca in Canada. We offer free shipping and discount pricing. You need to ask yourself, would you rather drink water with potential contaminants in it like PFAS, lead, bacteria, chromium 6, 
arsenic, nitrates, chloramines, pharmaceuticals, and personal care products to get 5% of the minerals you need, knowing that water is not the major source for your daily mineral intake. The foods you eat are. Or would you prefer to drink super pure, great tasting, contaminant free, reverse osmosis water, and choose to eat the right foods to get the minerals you need? But how do you know how these reverse osmosis drinking water systems work? No problem. Click up here for my next video and I'll see you there.